Y'all are here to learn how you can easily make 10k a month, nigga. Easily, bro. I guarantee if you follow these steps and you put your mind to it, bro, there is no way in hell you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Depending on who you working with, you could get six t-shirts like this for 250. This is what you're gonna do next. Most of the time, I would suggest you to have a very, very fire design. All, it all comes down to marketing, but honestly, more fire design is, especially a t-shirt, the more it's gonna work out. The people you know is really your network. You find five influencers, right? You should be messing with every influencer you know. The influencers are, bro, the influencers are the key to all these coding brands. Influencers and creating a lifestyle. It's a numbers game, y'all. You fuck one number up, you gotta go back. Look at the whole math problem again. Be like, where did I mess this up? Where did I subtract instead of add? Get you 3K. Now you up 13K in your job. The more you doing is you studying your numbers. Now go get your pre-made with a cool 300, 400 pieces, bro. Spend five bands. Drop that. You can make another 10K, twin. You can make another, you're up 23K now? Y'all ready? What is going on YouTube, it's your boy D.R. Right here again with another video, man. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can make over $10,000 easy with your coder brand. If you follow these steps, no cap, I really believe you could do it. Maybe even more. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah, with that being said, enough talking. Let's get to the video. I know you want to see the video. I know you want to see how you can make $10,000. I know, bro. You trying to make that money. I know. Hey, listen, I'm not mad at you, twin. I'm not at all. Just be a little patient. But before we get started to this video, y'all make sure y'all go down in the comments down below and smack that like button because it's free. Hit that subscribe button because we're on the road to 40 kizzy and turn that post notification in order to be notified when your boy posts. Because if you wasn't notified before this video, you're bugging. Hey, and also go ahead and follow me on Instagram, man. We're on the road to 30 kizzy on the gram. And I just posted some pics today. So go like the pics. And with that being said, I believe we're about to be three for three after this video. Consistent deal in the chat. I'm gonna keep saying it. 40k. I'm coming. We are coming. DRS. Mm. Let's go though. How you get here? All right. You got it, big bro. You got it. I swear I'd be waking up the neighbors, bro. I swear. I feel bad. Is what it is, baby. Yeah. You're not gonna copyright me, Drake. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't even know, like a nigga really from the country though. Hold on, let me show y'all son. Hold on. <laughs> hey, chill. Niggas don't even know for real though. Niggas don't even know for real though. You feel me? Like niggas don't even know for real. Like y'all ain't really from like that though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, let me turn. Let me open this shit up. I need my keys. Not even gonna lie to y'all. Real shit. I be so bored until I record. Like when I record, I get so much energy. Like if y'all meet me in person, which some of y'all have, bro, I'm really chill. Like I don't, I don't be this lit. But when the camera turn on, it's like I fuck with y'all niggas. I want to give y'all the best content, so I be like on some like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like I really get crazy with it, you feel me? But fuck my, I'm supposed to be my bad, bro. I I know you here, nigga. I know you here. Chill, bro. All right, bro. All right, damn. Open this goddamn shit up. 
Y'all yeah, already know every time I open this, it looks scary in there. It's not going to be any different. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir, nigga. I know you probably thought it was going to be different today. It's probably clean in there. No, it's worse, nigga. <laughs> it's worse. Hold on. Let me turn the light on so y'all can really see how bad this shit look. I'll be having to, like, plug this junk in because I got to use the damn generator and shit, bro. Man. Just wait till I have a damn Amazon building with this clothing brand shit. It's gonna be lit, I ain't gonna lie. I know it's nighttime, so I can't really show y'all perfectly the whole spot. So, as y'all can see, <laughs> it's looking pretty crazy. So guess what? Y'all know, if y'all really know the nigga, if y'all really know, if y'all real DRS, bro, then y'all know a nigga has OCD, bro. So I ain't gonna lie, before we do this, bro, I gotta play, I gotta clean it up just a little bit, like, bro. I just can't, y'all know I, I do my daily sit down videos right there when I tell y'all all the sauce, but bro, first off, that's not a pleasing background. Second off, nigga, I'll probably pass out just by being in it, bit, bro. Like, it just look too crazy in here, so I ain't gonna lie, I'm probably gonna clean up, clean this place up a little bit. Y'all want B-roll or y'all don't want B-roll? Y'all want B-roll? You want B-roll? You do? But you know I got you, nigga, chill. Look, I'ma clean it up real quick. It's currently, let me show y'all what time it is. Probably like 12. It's 11.32. I guarantee I'm gonna be done by 12. And then we're gonna film the video. Or I'm gonna sit down and talk to y'all. You feel me? Don't worry about it, I got you, bro. Let me let me clean it up. Let me, let me clean it up. You like the video yet? You did it? You like the video yet? Why? Go down and like it, bro. That's all y'all do. Appreciate that, bro. You liked it? I almost blew you a kiss, but that would have been sweet. All right, all right, bro. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm looking back while I'm talking to y'all. I put that shit in there. Bro, like this this unit just be so dirty, bro. Like, I gotta figure something out. Like, bro, I might need to make like a page or we might need to have like a meet and greet. I don't know. I need to get some some codes out of here, bro. Like it's too much. Look at how much I got in my trunk, bro. I got peeled, bro. I got so much stuff. I ain't complaining either. I just saying, like, it's just a laddie. I just got hella shit in there for real. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. While I'm cleaning this up, I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit. Because that's what we doing here. I like to keep it transparent with y'all. But I'm gonna just say, I hope y'all been feeling good. I genuinely hope y'all been feeling good. Because, like, shit happens in life, y'all. Shit happens. And if you're watching this channel, I know you are a very deep thinker and you probably want to do something big in life. And I know that shit could be hard because sometimes you're not where you want to be at, but be consistent, bro. Damn. Be consistent. And I would also say, bro, just like, bro, take care of yourself, bro. Listen, you got to understand where you want to go to is going to happen. You just gotta wait. Not even wait. I don't like saying wait because wait sounds like negative. You just gotta be patient. Be at peace with where you at because I guarantee it's gonna come, bro. Like, I mean that shit from the bottom of my heart either. I ain't trying to make no, I ain't trying to sound no inspirational eyes like guru. Nah, I ain't trying to do none of that, bro. Because, like, I really understand where some of y'all are at. Like, bro, just know, bro, everywhere you, anything you want in life, where you want to go to, bro, is going to come. Even I'm not where I want to be at yet. Nowhere near where I want to be at. I guarantee, bro, I just, bro, bro, if you out there, if you one of those out there who always, like, feeling guilty, 
guilty about shit, bro, get the fuck up, bro. Quit all that guilt shit, that feeling bad shit, bro. Get your ass up, bro. Get your life together. It's your life. Nobody else give a fuck about you, but you. Nobody else give a fuck about you, but you, bro. You, you, you supposed to be the only one that give a fuck. You probably thinking you don't care about yourself, but you really give a fuck about yourself because you sad because you care that you're not where you want to be at. That's the only reason you sad. So meaning you actually give a fuck about yourself. So you have a little bit of self-respect. You have a little bit of self-love. You just got to use that shit, nigga. And then another thing I'm going to say, too, is I understand that I be cussing a lot, y'all. And I be coming a little huff at y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be coming a little, like, when I speak to y'all and stuff like that, I be coming a little strong at y'all. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I told you, I don't do that pity party shit, bro. Like, I don't do none of that. Like, you gotta just be accountable for yourself. I understand I be coming a little too hard on y'all, but y'all gotta understand, bro. Y'all gotta love yourself, and y'all gotta get up for yourself, bro. Nobody's gonna do it but you. And that's, like, honestly, really, that's really a pro, but some people look at it as a con that, oh, I can't. You know, nobody give a fuck about me, blah, blah. But if you really think about it, nobody actually give a fuck, bro. Like, if I fall, if I fall in one of these clips and then I post it, which I did before, I made a whole video and I fell in a video, I was like, fuck it, I'ma just post it. Nigga, how many of y'all niggas actually remember that shit? Half of y'all probably don't. Y'all probably laugh. Y'all probably could have reposted, like, look at this goofy ass nigga falling. But, bro, two days later, you don't give a fuck, bro. I seen a video about Drake. He was like, he has a 78 hour rule or some shit. You do something embarrassing, the internet eat it up. Within the next three days, either somebody else gonna do something worse. Or niggas just gonna forget or some new trend for to come out. It's irrelevant, bro. Nobody give a fuck. You supposed to give a fuck. Nobody else give a fuck. <laughs> I'm just keeping it a buck, nigga. So I don't know where you gonna get on your shit, but you need to get on your shit, nigga. I'm just telling y'all niggas that because I love y'all niggas. Real shit. Like, I'm dedicating my whole life to this shit. Dedicating my whole life to helping people out there, bro. That I don't care, bro. Besides the point, bro. All I know is tell them niggas we all gonna win. <laughs> Here, nigga. Hey. 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 Hey.
Like I said, all those, bro, those are extra pieces for my job. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm really thinking about, some of y'all have been telling me y'all got missing orders, so I gotta work on that. But for those who don't have missing orders, or once I get the missing order situated, I'm not gonna lie, I might do a little pre-order video. I mean, pre-made video, bro, because I have so, bro, I have over like 200 pieces here. So I can do a cool little pre-made where I drop some clothes and we see how I do for my first ever, well, it's not my first ever pre-made because I've done pre-mades before, but I feel like the way I would do it would be like kind of different. So we could say it's my first ever pre-made. And I'll probably do a video for y'all like that. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm probably going to do it regardless because I want to switch my whole brand to pre-made. So it'll be like a restock pre-made. But yeah, like I said, I finished cleaning everything up. Ignore all this. All this shit need to go in the trash tomorrow. As y'all can see, it's like, I'll show y'all what time it is. It's 12.23 right now, a.m., so I ain't finna go to the trash right now. But over there, like I said, some more extra trash stuff, bro. There's like hella clothes that I need to give away. Those boxes gotta go in the trash. Bro, don't even get me started over here. We got shoes. We got all this gotta go in the trash, too. So, yeah. But y'all are here to learn how you can easily make 10k a year. I said a year. Um, a month, nigga. How you can make 10k a month easily, bro. I guarantee you, if you follow these steps and you put your mind to it, bro, there is no way in hell you can't do it. There's no way in hell. I'm not gonna keep talking your head off. Nigga, let's get straight into it, bro. Oh, shoot. Yeah, what's up? Why did I just do... Bro, that's not me, bro. I don't know why I just did that, bro. That's not me. Trust me. I don't do that one. You know what I'm saying? All I do is I dress and teach. You know what I'm saying? And I make money on the side, ugly laugh. Nah, but hey man, same man, y'all are here obviously to learn how you can make easily 10K a month on your YouTube channel. I'm gonna make this very, I said on your YouTube channel. If y'all actually wanna know how to grow on YouTube, y'all let me know in the comments down below. I'll definitely make a video like that because like I said, I'm just trying to help y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? But um, like I was saying, y'all here to learn how you make 10K a month from your clothing brand, bro. First, we gonna get straight into it because honestly, it's not that hard. I, before I even get into this, y'all, I'm gonna just go ahead and say this too. Owning a business is like, to me, it's like solving math problems, bro. So it's very simple, but you just gotta know the steps. But sometimes you might fuck up while you do them steps. But like a math problem, you fuck up doing the, the steps, you go tell the teacher, go ask the teacher, you learn from the mistake, then next time you ain't gonna do the same thing with different numbers, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hope you understand, like it's literally math problems, like math, is super simple but it's just you can make simple mistakes and you gotta learn shit and you gotta understand it you know what i'm saying it's like that so boom how you gonna make 10k easily with your quarter brand we're gonna look at it from a perspective of somebody who's just getting started because i believe most of y'all getting started so boom let's say you're getting started and you got a cool 300 dollars to your name let's say you want to drop t-shirts let's say you want to make this t-shirt right here so there's different ways you could go about it you could go manufacture route pakistan china you could go local manufacturer, like in the US and stuff like that, that make t-shirts, screen print, DTG, all that. Go ahead and tap into my Instagram for my manufacture list. It's updated. New manufacturers, Pakistan, Alibaba, and local ones. So go ahead and tap into my motherfucking manufacture list on Instagram. DM me. It is not free, my boy. So don't come at me thinking you about to get a free manufacture list because I'm sorry. I can't give it to you for free. It is what it is. I just can't. You know what I'm saying? If you want to pay for it and invest into your brand, then go ahead. If you don't, I'm so sorry. You gotta go find it on your own. But either way, like I said, let's say you got a cool three hundred dollars to your name. This is what I would do, and this is what I truly believe you could easily make ten k with. Go get you maybe a T. Let's say you make this T right here. You got three hundred dollars to your name. Let's say you make the T. You make this T right here. Go make about. Let's say you got three hundred dollars. Let's say a T-shirt costs twenty two dollars for local manufacturers. Twenty two dollars shipping ain't really that expensive because it's local, right? So you could get about six of them shirts for like two fifty. You know what I'm saying? Depending on who you working with, you could get six T-shirts like this for. 250. This is what you're gonna do next. Most of the time, I would suggest you to have a very, very fire design. All, it all comes down to marketing, but honestly, the fire, the more fire your design is, especially a t-shirt, the more it's gonna work out. So let's say you got six samples now. You just use the $300 for six samples, right? What you gonna do now, listen to me. You keep one of those shirts. You keep one of those shirts. You market it yourself. I wanna see you post it on Instagram. You gonna post it on your Instagram. You gonna post on Fix. You gonna post it on TikTok. When you post on TikTok, hey, it's 2023, bro. We not trying to see niggas doing this no more, bro. Even I used to do it. Put When I used to put the shirt down and then record like this, that's cool. You could do that, but you gotta add a little bit more sauce to it. Don't just film it like this. Like, would you cop, bro? It's 2023. Keep it in the buck, bro. Nobody cares no more. They got to see it on. They got to see you talk about it. You know what I'm saying? They got to see it in a cool background lifestyle. I'm telling y'all, remember, you got to sell that lifestyle. If y'all haven't seen my videos on how to market your clothing brand, go watch it, my boy. I put I put the whole sauce down. Like I said, lifestyle, bro. Make lifestyle content. So you have one of the shirts. You're making fire pieces. You're making fire content with it. You have five more shirts. My guy. A lot of people don't do this. I understand that some people may not trust people. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't just don't know the knowledge, but you about to learn it. So you better apply that shit. Cause I told you just like a math problem. Once you learn how to do it, 
follow them steps. You have five more shirts, bro. I want you to go get the most fiest influencers that fit your category. I ain't say go get a regular influence. I did not say that, bro. Do not go be, get, do, bro. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. We got hella influencers that y'all just know, like, are really deep into this fashion. Like, people look up to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, a nigga that you know, people be like, you, you watch the nigga, you be like, I wonder where he got that from. Or this nigga is known for fashion. This, you know what I'm saying? Like one of them, like you gotta give it to one of them. I want you to hit them up. You hit them up. You gonna give them the shirt. Some of them require you paying, some of them don't. 20, if you got the money, go ahead and pay. They only gonna require a cool $200. Some around there, you know what I'm saying? For a TikTok. Now, if it's an Instagram promo, you know what I'm saying? Feed post, you might be looking in the band area. But if it's the TikTok, bro, bro, go ahead and promote it for a cool $200. All you gotta do is put the shirt on and make a cool little outfit of the day. Promote your brand. You got five shirts. I want you to find five influencers. Bro, hand it out to every single one of them. What that does is you're spreading your clothing brand separate ways. See, you think you're gonna do all this shit yourself. I was one of those at one point. Nigga, y'all don't understand how I rely on myself for everything. I tell y'all this, this shit all the time, bro. I'm not gonna ask you for nothing. I'm gonna rely on myself. I ain't trying to, I'm not asking for no help, but y'all gotta understand, bro. This is why they say the people you know is really your network, bro. Like, let me really, bro, y'all gotta understand, bro. Peep, listen. So, you find five influencers, right? Let's say you're upcoming influencers. You should be messing with every influencers you know. Like y'all don't understand. When I tell y'all bro about that network shit, like let me give you an example. I've made a deal with one of y'all that hey, you send me graphic designs, like any graphic design I want, you make it for me and I'll repost your story promo any day you want. But that's that's that network. We're both winning. I'm getting free design. Sometimes I ain't even got it. I ain't even got a design. You could, you could go ahead and do it. And guess what? He don't have to market sometimes because he getting a free story promo. I get about 12 to 16K on my Instagram. He's getting a free story promo. Sometimes he may not have to market. That's what they mean by your network, bro. For any of y'all, bro, that be hiding behind the screen trying to do everything by yourself, twin, you gotta get out there, bro. You gotta get out, get out there. Meet these influencers. Talk to them. I don't give a fuck. Some of y'all niggas be thinking y'all too fanned out and shit, bro. Get your ass, nigga. You, you, you're really dumb. You're really dumb because you're not looking at it the long run. You too worried about being fucking self-centered and like you too worried about your damn ego but maybe if you use your damn mind like you know what maybe if i start supporting this dude and then he recognized me from supporting him we could come up with something and then i'm still supporting him but shit he might give me some sauce he might give me some help and then we both could be at the top but see y'all niggas don't be thinking like that Either way, that's besides the point. So for all y'all self-centered niggas, I, I'm telling you, I'm being honest with you. I'm going to keep it a buck every time. I used to be very self-centered. But I was one of them niggas, don't help me. Don't do none of that, bro. But ever since I've met a few people, bro, I know some people that I can hit up right now and be like, hey, twin. Like, I'm talking about millions of followers, bro. Hella followers. I'll be like, hey, twin. Yo, can you put this hoodie on for me? You know what I'm saying? He'll charge y'all niggas three bands. Me? Free. Just cause bro, we got a connection, bro. I started talking to bro. I got cool with him. Now I get a piece like this. He got a million followers. Hey twin, can you put this? Can you put a cool little outfit on for me? Boom. Put the outfit on. Him, he get free clothes. You know what I'm saying? He can get anything free from my brand. Anything I anything I drop, I'm sending it straight to bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting a more free audience, bro. My audience plus his audience. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, your network. I'm telling y'all. So for some of y'all that may not know influence, that's cool. But like I said, some of them you gotta pay for them. You know what I'm saying? If you do know some, go and hit them up, bro. Go hit them up. Give them the clothes. Send them the clothes. What they gonna do is they can post it on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? More people are seeing it now. Your customers or your audience that you building is seeing it, and then his audience is looking at him with that on because y'all got to understand these influences these people have a large audience anything they put on i don't like to say is dick ride but a lot of people will quote unquote they cry so if they see their favorite influencers in your pieces it doesn't matter who made the brand as long as that influencer have it on that audience is coming for that brand because of that influencer because quote unquote dick ride i guess whatever you whatever the hell you want to call it people call it so y'all got to understand that you want to give it to five different influencers you got six shirts you keep one go ahead and send it out you know what i'm saying go ahead and send it out send out the influencers you gotta pay you gotta pay bro do what you gotta do you gotta understand you gotta do what you gotta do to get this drop right you gotta do what you gotta do to make this 10k and this and this is this is not just for one drop but this could happen every time every time this could be a consistent month thing like this is something i'm gonna start doing it you know what i'm saying because i did it before it worked but i need to do it more you know what i'm saying so boom you send it out now they're gonna be marketing like i said they're gonna be putting it on hopefully pick the right influences because i ain't gonna lie some of these influences be lame as hell they get their shirt and they don't put a fit on it's cool it's cool hey if they do that to you twin don't even worry about it it's cool you're gonna be back in the next few months next few years he's gonna be asking you for the clothes now you can say no bitch
<laughs> no! Now I ain't gonna lie, you probably shouldn't say no, because at the end of the day, you can still use his influence. So go ahead and just be like, hell yeah, I'll give you some shit. But just don't be cool with bro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, just put your arm. That's how business works. Be smart. Don't use your ego, your ego too much. Just be smart with it. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't lose an opportunity just because you don't like somebody. Be smart. Send it to all these influencers. Boom, now you got their audience coming to your job. Now, there's certain ways you could do this. You could go ahead and keep that audience that you just built. Because I guarantee you, if your pieces is fire, guaranteed, bro. After you give it to those influencers and you market it, I guarantee you set for a W job. Guarantee if you give it to the right influencers. You know what I'm saying? Right influencers meaning you have to give it to an influencers that match what you drop. You know what I'm saying? Just because he's a fashion influencer doesn't mean he match maybe the shirt you drop. You got to give it to the right person. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you got to do that. If that's right, check. You know what I'm saying? If he puts a fire fit on, check. If he do all that, bro, this goddamn train, bro. Y'all niggas ignore the train. If you do all that, bro, you going to guaranteed have an audience for that job. Now, boom. Now it's time to get ready for the job few things you need website got to be clean i ain't gonna lie i would suggest you to keep that website as plain as possible bro like don't be doing all them enter shit bro cut that out nobody has time for that we want the piece as fast as possible simple as possible so all them enter shit go ahead get rid of that drop day release the pictures you use they got to be fire twin i want a fire pick fire pick either it's gonna be plain or you got to make it fire don't be playing no weak ass shit bro you want to make that shit exclusive y'all got to understand why because those influences that you gave the stuff to they audience coming so it's your time to get their audience to be your audience by using your brand you could look you could use the, the mock-ups you use, the pictures you use. It's your time to influence them, bro. It's your time to show them what you got. You know what I'm saying? All he was was a little lead. You know what I'm saying? All the influencers was, they were like a little lead. They was like, hey, check this brand out. Now when they look at your brand, it's time for you to put that shit up. You know what I'm saying? It's time for you to be like, hey, all right. Y'all y'all looking at me now? Okay, it's not about that nigga no more. You should want this brand in general. That's how it should be now. You know what I'm saying? Because why? You can't just keep giving it to these influencers and just getting over with the job and then doing it all over again. Because at the end of the day, you're not building your influence. You're just using their influence. You want to build it. Once they look at your stuff, once his fucking audience look at your stuff you gotta it's your time now it's your time to turn his audience into your audience that is your time now so boom mock-ups bro the website all that shit clean exclusive plain simple we're not gonna go down that route too too much but i just suggest y'all to make it very clean very simple very nice important parts that i'm gonna say manufacture bro make sure your manufacturer is ready especially if this is your first job make sure that manufacturer ready because you got all these niggas audience after you bro you know what i'm saying you got all these niggas audience after you so once you drop that shit you want to make sure your manufacturer is ready you want to make sure that shipping for me be straight you want to make sure everything is straight no mess up on the website none of that bro make sure everything is straight because this your first drop you want this shit to be as smooth as possible so them niggas could be back for drop number two and we're gonna talk a little bit about drop number two and what you could learn and do to scale up to go crazy you know what i'm saying y'all gonna see i'm starting a new brand y'all seen it my uh a few vlogs ago y'all gonna see me do it y'all gonna really understand because niggas not really gonna give y'all this sauce bro y'all really gonna understand so boom you drop right i guarantee you like i said bro you should be able to make a simple 10k in my opinion easily should be able to make a simple 10k bro and i'm gonna also say this when you drop let's say you have and hit the 10k you looking for bro twin you can still keep marketing just because you turn the website on don't mean you're done marketing you know what i'm saying a week later you could still send the last shirt that you have to you to another influencer you know what i'm saying like you you could still do that after you got them influencers you know what i'm saying you send them all the stuff another thing you could do you could go ahead and pay for promos on TikTok where you don't have to even send the stuff to the influencer. So what you do is you could get a cool little mock-up or you could get your picture plus the mock-up plus the other influencers and then get another influencers to post all them picture on his TikTok with over 100K. That shit easy gonna blow up. Now they seen six different famous influencers Plus the nigga with the account with over 100k plus his followers plus the five niggas of the audience seeing them niggas on his shit like isn't this my favorite influencer all that shit gonna add up bro that's a cool little 500k audience right there you know what i'm saying if all the niggas let's say i have 100k you know what i'm saying all them niggas people right there like yo i know that nigga i know that nigga i know that nigga and they all have this brand on hold on i gotta check it out 
That's how that shit work, bro. I'm telling y'all. Trust me, bro. Me, so boom. You could do that as well. Like I said, you could do story promos. A lot of y'all don't know about story promos. If you do, then you do. If you don't, story promo. Basically, you find your favorite influencer or influencer that just towards what you dropping. You tell me, hey, bro, can you repost my brand? Can you repost these pictures for my drop coming up? Boom, he reposts it on his story. Let's say he get 10 to 20K different views on his stories. So now he got 20K niggas looking at his stories at your brand. But dumb niggas like, hey, my favorite influencer just posted this brand. So let me go check it out. Like I said, all these audience, y'all peep, understand how much audience you're getting. You got the five influencers. You got TikTok promos, right? You got the five influencers. You got the other promos where you could just send the pictures out. You know what I'm saying? Then you got story promos. Twin. Just imagine how many people are seeing this brand upcoming, especially if it's fire. Imagine. And like I said, you only had a cool $300. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, maybe some of y'all, y'all gonna need a little bit more because some of these influencers... But y'all gotta understand, bro. It's very understandable why we wouldn't do it for free. You wouldn't do that shit for free, <laughs> nigga. So why the fuck you looking at us like, hey, we greedy? No, you wouldn't do it for free. So why would I do it for free? You know what I'm saying? Just saying, some of these people, you're gonna have to pay. But you gotta understand that payment is more likely worth it, bro. Just because in return, you're about to make double the amount of money. You know what I'm saying? What you paying some of these influencers probably four different products of your pieces. Let's say you just dropping a shirt for fifty dollars. Fifty times four, that's what two hundred. Let's say bro charge twenty dollars for a TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Boom, he, you send them the stuff two hundred dollars. You you do it to five people two hundred times five. That what? That's like a band. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you got a job, nigga. Save. Most of y'all should have a job. If you don't have a job and you need to do this, twin, go get your ass a fucking job, bro. You got a cool band, go get your ass, bro. That's two weeks of maybe working, bro. Two three weeks. Of Give it a month. Do a month of working, bro. Don't spend none of that money. Especially y'all, the young niggas who maybe don't even drive yet. Y'all ain't even gotta pay gas. Nigga, two months, bro. You could get over a band. Two months, you could get over a band. You gonna use that shit for your new job. Get you six shirts. That's a cool $300. Now you got $700 left. Use that $700 to pay every influencer you know. They probably gonna only charge you about $200 to $150, depending on the influencer. You know what I'm saying? Some of them might charge you more. But like I said, you're going to have a month worth of fucking money. That's a cool maybe one to $2,000 depending on where you work at. Nigga, you are going to be straight, bro. Don't be lazy. Go get your ass a job. It's okay to work a nine to five, bro. A month. Give it all you need is a month. All you need is a month, bro. Save all that money. Don't touch it. Don't go out with friends. Don't be going out to get no Popeyes, no Wendy's. Fo, fo, fo. Nigga, stay your ass in the crib, bro. Understand where you're going with that money. Understand why you're doing it, bro. I'm telling you, use that influencer money, and I guarantee you, you can make an easy 10K. Sit over here and tell me how you wouldn't make 10K, especially if the pieces is fired. Please sit down and tell me. If you execute this correctly, manufacture straight, you give it to all the influencers, you're doing your promos, you paying for promos, you taking fire pics with it too. You know what I'm saying? Explain to me how you would fuck this shit up. Please tell me you wouldn't. We all know how many of y'all, bro. We all know the top brands that we see every day. The only reason we consider them top brands is because we have niggas like influencers wearing it. That's a fact. The influencers are, bro, the influencers are the key to all these clothing brands. Influencers and creating a lifestyle. And that's why the influencers are there for it. Certain influencers have a specific lifestyle, right? So when you give it to them, everybody that fuck with, with that lifestyle is coming to you. Come on, man. So like I said, go get you a job, bro. If you ain't got the money for the influencers, bro, go get you a quick little job. Get you a cool two bands. That's all you need. $300, six shirts. You up six shirts now. Now you give it to all these influencers. Pay them a little money, bro. Once you drop, I get, bro. If the pieces is fire, if the drop is clean, website clean, everything clean, tell me how you wouldn't make over 10 bands, bro. Some of y'all probably like, 10 bands is a lot of money. This when the mental part of business come in, because some of y'all niggas, y'all got to change your mindset. 10 bands is a lot of money, right? Let's say a t-shirt. Let's say you, you sell it for $50. 10 bands divided by 50. That's 200 shirts. That's only 200 shirts, twin. And like I said, peep how many influence you just paid. 200 shirts, that's all you need. 200 shirts. You tell me you can't do it? You tell me there's millions of people in the world, and you can get 200 people to buy your stuff. After paying hella influencers. Now be fucking for real, my nigga. You could even go crazy and be like, you know what, fuck it. I'ma pay the influencers to make an Instagram feed post with it. Now talk to me. And, 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 and like I said before, if some of y'all is smart, and y'all not so damn self-centered, and you actually support niggas, you feel me? 
maybe you won't even have to pay no influencer because you already have the connections. Come on, man. Come on, man. Some of y'all niggas might not even have to pay influencers. Now you keep that money. Go drop that shit on some ads, nigga. I said, <laughs> it's not like I said ass. Go drop that shit on some ads, bro. Or not, even if you don't want to drop it on ads, go find some influencers you may not be cool with and double your fucking payment. Come on, nigga. Come on. And, and not only that, we could keep talking. Instead of doing that, go ahead and pay your manufacturer up front a cool hundred shirt. You got two bands. You may not have to pay for influencers. This is if you work, you know what I'm saying? If you saved your money to two bands, for that, for y'all that don't have two bands, y'all only had the 300, cool. That's different for y'all. But this for my niggas that I said, go get a job, nigga. Save you a cool two bands from a month of working. Twin, nigga. You could, if you know cool influencers, you ain't, ain't got to pay for it. Twin, you could go ahead and use that money you're supposed to pay for influencers to get a couple shirts. Get you a couple shirts. Get you a cool hundred shirts. That's half, that's half what you need for 10K. Say that motherfucker. Now it's time to drop that. Now you saying it's pre-made. Tell me how you're not going to get over fucking 200 orders. Pre-made. Meaning the niggas going to get it in the next two days, bro. You're going to get over 10K sales. And then we're going to keep talking about it. After you do this job, like I said, you're more likely going to get 10K sales. If you don't do 10K sales, there's a step that you, you mess up at. You know what I'm saying? It might be the website. It might be little things like that. It might be the website. It might be maybe the price you even priced it at. It could be little tiny things, bro. It could be tiny little things that you might need to go. Like I told you, this is like a math problem. You fuck one number up, it's a numbers game, y'all. You fuck one number up, you got to go back. Look at the whole math problem again and be like, where did I mess this up? Where did I subtract instead of add? Where did I add instead of subtract or times or divide? But I guarantee you, it's super simple. Y'all seen me explain it. It all makes sense. The only reason it would fuck up is if you made a tiny problem. It could be a tiny problem that fucks the whole thing up. Now y'all gotta understand that it's literally a math problem, bro. It's simple, but there's problems. It's simple, but there's steps and you have to follow those steps. And if you don't follow those steps, you gotta go back and realize where you fucked up at. You feel me? So like I said, let's say you get done with that job. You get your cool 10K. A lot of y'all niggas, I was niggas at once, are going to go crazy after you make your first 10K. Because what I just told you, I guarantee you, if there's 10 niggas watching this, six, nah, I'm gonna say four out of 10 of y'all niggas gonna do it and y'all gonna do it successfully. Four out of 10 of y'all niggas. And out of the four out of 10 of y'all niggas, probably three of y'all or two of y'all are going to go blow that 10K off. That's just a fact. And that's just gonna be another one of those math problems that you have to learn. Been there, done that. Trust me. Don't go motherfucking spend that 10K, my nigga. Exactly what you do after you get that 10K. Like I said, this is 10K a month we're going for. Exactly what you're going to do. You're going to go get you. You're going to save half of that money. You know what I'm saying? Go go ahead and save damn near all that money. Get you a band out of that money. Two bands. Go make your damn new piece. Study your numbers that you just dropped. Which size was mostly bought? Was it medium? Was it large? Was it small? Go study that. Right when you study that. Go get your damn pre-made drop, nigga. Get you, you don't even got, you don't have to go get over 20 pieces again. That's not what I'm telling you. Go get you 75 pieces. Go get you the minimum order quality. Go get you that. Make a new shirt, hat, pants. Go get you minimum order quality. Cool, 30, 30 pieces. Go get you that. Drop again. Now say pre-made. Do the same thing. Give it to a few influencers. Now that you pay some of them influencers, I ain't gonna lie, some of them you could build a connection. Don't just pay the nigga and be like, all right, I'll fuck with you. Hell nah. Support that nigga. Keep supporting that nigga. He gonna start fucking with you. He gonna be like, all right, you know what? This time, I ain't even gonna pay you. You know what? The pieces is fired enough. Just give me the piece. He ain't even gotta pay me. Tell y'all, that's how that shit works. I promise y'all that's how that shit works. Y'all just gotta think. So, boom. Like I said, right after that, bro, right after that 10K drop, go ahead and invest that money. Go get you minimum order quantity. Go get you, go spend you a cool band on your next drop. Get them pre-made. Now, re-drop again. Now, if your last drop was successful, you won't need that much marketing. You would, you would be able to do that shit on your own. You might not even need influencers next drop. Obviously, you should just to expand the brand more, but you might not need it. You know what I'm saying? Because you're doing pre-made now. Your last drop was successful. They like the pieces. You feel me? They already seen all the influencers that fuck with your brand. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you're doing pre-made. Pre-made is the most important thing. You're doing pre-made. So they gonna be like, okay, I'll get it in three days. Cool. I'll spend my money right here. Come on, fuck it. You feel me? Drop your shit. Minimum order quantity. Now you made, let's say, you make a cool three bands from that. Y'all look at three bands like, oh, that's little because everybody dropping 20K drops. No, that's not little, bro. Get you 3K. Now you up 13K in your job. Now guess what? The more you doing is you studying your numbers. Now go get your pre-made with a cool 300, 400 pieces, bro. Spend five bands. Go ahead and spend five bands. Drop that. Then once you drop that, you give it to the influence. You do that shit all again, bro. You got your cool 300 pieces like I said. You can make another 10K, twin. You can make another, you're up 23K now? You do it again. This time, instead of buying 300 pieces, fuck it. 
Go buy six on it because you studying your numbers again. Remember, you got to know how much you can sell. You studied your numbers, fuck it. Bro, sometimes you just got to take the risk sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It's not a quick scheme, you feel me? But it's okay to take the risk sometimes. Always take your time. But once you see these numbers coming and you studying the numbers, we'll get you 300 pieces, bro. Sell that shit for like $80. You know what I'm saying? Sell that shit for like $80. They know that shit gonna come in fast because it's pre-made now. You invest in your money. They know that shit coming fast. You're doing a W marketing. You're using your tools. You feel me? Y'all could, bro, there's so much shit you could do, bro. Y'all have to understand, like, us influ- Like, bro, niggas with clothing brands are not fucking stupid. Y'all gotta understand, I could have easily went and bought a Toyota, bro. I bought this car as an investment. Sit, I bought the car as an investment, bro. Me just having this car as a clothing brand owner, if I stand in front of the car with my damn clothes, how many people are gonna be like, what he got on? Who is he? Come on, you could do the same thing. Nigga, go buy some new kicks. You know what I'm saying? Go get you a new vehicle. I'm not saying you have to. You really don't have to. There's always other ways. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to tell you or teach you how you can also make a name for yourself and use yourself as your clothing brand. Your spending habits are that as you, as your clothing brand, as an investment. I'm not saying you have to. Like I said, I'm just telling y'all certain ways of marketing. You feel me? So boom, you could do that. Now you go drop 600 pieces and they like, this nigga drives this. He living this lifestyle. They could buy that sh They could buy that. Now you up a cool 40 bands. You up 40 bands? Shit, this time you could, like I said again, throw in 10K on that drop. 10K, that's a cool 800,000 pieces, depending on what you dropping. Easily, you could make 70K, 60K. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm telling y'all, it is simple, but it's like math, bro. You could fuck it up by simple little things in there's just it's it's just a lot of things but it's sms marketing like i did i didn't really talk about that that much like i said when you're marketing with your influencers i'm gonna say this rewind rewind i'm gonna say this when you market with your influencers lock your website put the sms shit on they gonna come to the brand put the email boom you got them locked in now every time the more you elevate it you got all these damn emails you got all these damn emails now you just keep emailing them niggas boom 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 come on Come on, man. Tell y'all niggas, I just put you on. How you gonna make 10K every single drop every month, bro? And another thing I'm gonna also say, when you wanna make 10K every month, you gotta have them samples in hand quick as hell. So once you get a sample today and you drop that shit, go ahead and make six different samples, six different drops, send them over. You know what I'm saying? Now you up for the next three months. You already got a drop. You feel me? So yeah. Anyways, y'all, that's going to be how you can make 10K. Nigga, you could do that shit. My camera's about to die, so I'm going to um, go ahead and kind of wrap up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what we about to get into, but that's really simple. How you can make 10K. And yeah, if my camera stops, this shit. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see y'all niggas in a second. I'm about to go home and edit this shit. I ain't charging my camera. It's goddamn 101. Yeah. Now you know how to make 10K. Put your mind to it, you could do it. I guarantee you, nigga. <laughs> I'm going to do it for y'all in the video, though. I ain't going to lie. Because I can't just be talking. I got to show y'all niggas, too, right? That's what I do. <laughs> you feel me? We got pre mades right there. We got some pieces right there. We could do pre mades I might do the same thing. I got some influences. I'm going to make a whole documentary on how I do that shit. If y'all want to see that shit, drop in the comments down below. And I got y'all for sure. And I'm going to do it for my new brand, too. So stay tuned for that. But yeah. Ah, <sighs> shit. These motherfuckers right here. Got a bag. Ask me what's in the bag. Hey, you know what I just seen, bro? I just seen one of y'all niggas say this shit. Hold on, we still talking about that video. Some nigga said, BZ, he a DRS. He said, this nigga Dior has no riz. Twin, hold on. Y'all nigga, bro, <laughs> hold on. Y'all gotta understand, in that video, I was trying to be goofy, bro. I was trying to be a little funny. I was trying to act nervous purposely so y'all niggas could enjoy the video. Y'all talking about, this nigga Dior has no riz. Bro, be fucking for real. Ugly. Be fucking for real, nigga. Be for real, bro. Niggas tuck him out. Dior ain't got no ribs. Twin, you better chill out, boy. You better chill out, Twin. Come on, BZ. Come on, BZ. Either way, we clocking out, niggas. Got my shit. Shit. Yeah. We got to be. Oh, hold on. I had to turn the light off. Okay. We out there, be for real. See y'all niggas later, man.